jumping into this podcast, I actually forgot to uh, send you. Um, well, I forgot to actually show you the actual T Dog Smitty, Smitty video from 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 TikTok. So I'm I'm gonna put that at the end so you guys can see it. But um, essentially, I wanted to kind of make this this announcement. I am trying to get more people on this podcast, and the more likes we get, the more comments we get the better that this actually gets, right? So the more, the bigger the guests we'll, we'll, we'll get and the more that we can actually make a difference in, in the gaming space. And it will be pretty much because of all of you guys. So I will be taking in actual feedback from you guys as far as not only the podcast itself, but just in general for games. Like, so we can actually make, you know, Activision be held accountable for things. You know, a any gaming company that really needs to be held accountable for something, ba ba Battlefield or whatever. So if you like the podcast, Please like it and please subscribe because we definitely need to have more people, more eyes on this to actually make real change. Thank you very much for all the support and, and you take care. So today's episode is going to be about, it's going to be similar to yesterday's episode. Now, I don't want that to sound very, you know, vague or whatever, but if you haven't seen last week's episode or yesterday's episode, please go, please go view it. Okay. So essentially, um, this is going to be about map packs versus season passes, right? I've seen a lot of controversy on this, a lot of controversy. And I actually saw another video by T dog Spitty the other, the other, the other day, kind of breaking down the pros and cons of it. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you that in just a second, but I want to, I want to speak on map packs versus the season passes. I personally think that there are pros and cons to both, right? Let's start with, with let's start with, with, uh, with map packs first. The map packs in Call of Duty were great because they they forced the Call of Duty Treyarch Modern, 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 Modern Warfare it doesn't matter the it doesn't matter the the company or the game itself right it forced them to create something that was visually pleasing okay when map packs were around they made the game feel more involved now yes you had to spend more money. On, on the map packs up front and any anyway but it also felt like it wasn't just the cash grab right whenever you're doing a map pack whenever whenever you bought a map pack you got especially in Treyarch you got the zombies map and you got a few multiplayer maps <clears throat> again pros and cons to, to, to everything the first the pros are some of the pros are what I just said but also the 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 map packs were a way for them to not just give us a unfinished product when the when the game first started and then have us and then have them do updates in between and then, and then us having to spend money like the map packs were typically there was almost no glitches in them i mean there were glitches i, I obviously because you can't you, I mean, again you cannot stop every glitch in, in, a, in a zombies map i i get that but they'll do it as they go you have to spend money on it the map packs felt more completed, right? There's the other argument, which which, which I've seen, where uh, compared to a sandwich, where they would give you like just the bread is is like the whole um, the whole sandwich is just the bread, which is you know the whole game essentially. So it's like Black Ops Two, let's say, and then all the 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 cheese, the tomato, the meat, you know, that's all like map pack one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth, right? I agree with that. I, I agree with it. That's kind of the con of it, where they, you never feel like you have a completed game. But the the see the 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 real the, the real thing here that would have been really good for anyone to do, right? That any a, any any singular um company would have been able to do would essentially be they can take the map packs and just keep giving us map packs kind of similar to what GTA does, which is why they, I feel like, I don't know if it's true, but in, in the AAA gaming space, I feel like GTA is the longest lasting game out there. Now, I don't know who's complaining about wanting a new GTA six game, but at the end of the day, it's like they have given the people of GTA, the, the players of GTA content every single month, year, whatever. Like, there is so much to do in GTA that it's it's like its own fucking ecosystem at this point, okay? Now, if you're not happy with that, that's okay. That's on you. But Call of Duty could have done the same thing. They could have they could have kept their games 
running for five to ten years instead of making a game every single year with each single map pack, which is what they didn't do. So there's the there's another con that they probably didn't even think about, or a lot of the community didn't didn't think about. Yes, you're you're getting just the bread in in a, in a sandwich, but you're also getting much more in the long term than, than you are in the short term. So you, you get a full game with 10, 12, 13, 15 maps or whatever. Multiplayer, zombies, uh, Warzone and Battle Royals weren't really a thing in Black Ops 2. But um, you get that whole thing, right? And then essentially, essentially, what is really important about this is that you could keep those map packs and they just keep going forever. So you can get, so I mean, you can get up to twenty zombies maps, depending on how long you know you they they really they really want they really wanted to put it. Or some of the map packs could have like one or two multiplayer maps and like three zombie maps. But they usually the typical thing for Treyarch was they they would give one zombie map and then and they would give like three or four multiplayer maps. But that actually made it feel like they cared, you know. I personally think that they should have given us four zombie maps and four multiplayer maps, but that's that's just my opinion. Um, I think that they really shouldn't have been because let's be honest, zombies was holding up Treyarch for such a long time, and I don't know, I don't care what you say. Like everyone that I knew was playing zombies, even me. I I love zombies. I may be biased in that sense, but everyone I talked to, yeah, zombies, Z zombies, Treyarch, Tre Treyarch was zombies. That that was it. Not many people played mul multiplayer. Not many people. You play the campaign, then you go right to zombies. Even 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 World at War people like they they once once they did once they played the actual campaign and got the zombies mode, they're like shit. I'm never going back to multiplayer again. That's just the god honest truth. I I, I I hate to I hate to burst your bubble, but zombies carried Treyarch. Zombies probably carried the whole Call of Duty franchise. We just don't know it. We don't know the numbers to to that. But my. My point to this is the map packs could make the game could the, the so all right let, let me start over the map packs could make the game last for decades if done properly I'm sure that people would have complained why don't we have a new call of duty why don't we have a new call call of duty I think if they had just merged with uh with the you know with the, the with the Infinity Ward engine gotten those graphics gi given us zombies and those graphics a while ago we would have been set for life we 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 wouldn't need a Black Ops two three four five seven twelve eighteen twenty twenty four uh and then like a Modern Warfare twenty nineteen twenty sixteen twenty fifteen you know, like we wouldn't need that stuff we would just need one company which is Treyarch and well actually you know what. They could have merged together and they could have worked on this on this project together. So Call of Duty Infinity Ward could have worked on uh or uh, Sledgehammer what whatever could could have worked on um multiplayer. So Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer could have worked on multiplayer and Warzone. That would have been a great match. Treyarch could have worked on zombies with you know the advanced warfare zombies with the Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4 zombies, and they could have just focused on those things. They they could have split the company in two and had them focus on this one singular game that, that that they would bring together. Now that is unity, but I but I feel like that Call of Duty or Activision has been making Treyarch and Infinity Ward compete with one another, and that's what's been happening. Now, if Microsoft does acquire Activision, I hope that that changes and they and they merge the two the the two companies. And they make them, or three or four, or however many that they have going going on now, and they just merge them together so that they can focus on the thing that they're best at. Treyarch is really good at zombies, and Infinity Ward is really good at multiplayer, so they could, they therefore should be really good with with Warzone. So then, now they could they could bring back those map packs, and they could have and Treyarch make us five map packs and have Infinity Ward make us another Warzone or two map. And then make another few multiplayer maps. And then this game will now last, let's say it's like uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 or 3 or whatever, right? That would be the better idea. But instead, they're not going to do that. Because that would be... I, I feel like that there has to be some kind of d d like division with, with, with the general public. I feel like there has to be a side to take. Otherwise, you guys get bored. 
because I, I there's so many there's so many ar- arguments with um with like PC versus console or controller versus uh mouse and keyboard or Treyarch games versus Mono, uh, versus Infinity Ward games, like so. So essentially, Black Ops games versus Mono, Mono Warfare games. I, I feel like there always has to be a division with, with, with you people. And if there's not, you get bored. But at the end of the day, if these two things, if these two entities, if these two companies come together to make a really awesome game, what we'll have a GTA situation where we're gonna have content for years to come, and then, and then, and then they can work on a new game. Something that's even bigger. Like GTA six is is meant to is gonna be probably one of the biggest games in a very, very long time. Very, very big game. And I mean that. Like it's over a billion dollar it's got a it's got an over a billion dollar budget. GTA six has an over a billion dollar budget. That is a lot of money. But see, that's the problem. I don't think that they're gonna do that because they just don't want to. But I don't want to have to spend sixty dollars every time a game comes out. I, I want to be. I can. I'm fine with spending thirty dollars for a map pack or twenty dollars for a, for a map pack. I do game map pack, map pack, map pack, map pack. Just a bunch of map packs that come out that give me a few zombies maps, a few multiplayer maps, a few, maybe a war zone or two. Like I, I can see the war zone map taking a while, right? Like, I multiplayer maps don't definitely don't take that that long. Zombies maps shouldn't take that long. Warzone is a very big map with a lot of POIs. So that makes sense, right? There's still some small POIs within the, the multiplayer maps and the zombies maps that you have to take into account. But Warzone is a lot is a, is a very large scale map. And they have to have different POIs in them. Point of interest in case you're wondering. That actually makes sense. So that I could see a Warzone map coming out that's like one Warzone map, not two or three. Because then they're going to half-ass those two or three maps and that's what I don't want. Right, or if they have to give us two maps, two multiplayer, two zombie, that's still better than giving us four multiplayer maps that are halfway unfinished, and then one zombie map that's like okay, and then a, and then a war zone map that's you know that's like whatever, or two two or three war zone maps that are just dog shit. Right, I'm thinking future application here. Right, like this is great advice for for Activision just as a business in, in general. Again, you may not make all this money up front because people won't be like rushing to to, to the store to get the new meta. Or you could do both. Hell, you could probably do both. You probably could run yourself, get yourself a meta gun, have people spend money on on the map packs, and the, and and they'll buy the the meta gun blue, blueprint variant that you've made, right? So it, it's 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 a win win if they just if they just work on quality instead of quantity. That's the problem here. They need to work on quality. Okay. I'm on my vision. I'm on my way to make qual- quality videos. Like I've been making, I've been, ma- I've made quality videos. I've made quantity videos. Right now, I'm just making quantity videos because I really want this podcast to go out to people, and I really want them to watch this and be able to understand it. I can get my own studio. I can start like actually making real progress to making quality vi- videos versus qu- quantity. I think three podcasts a week is very good. Okay, so that's a good quality video thing where I can talk to you guys personally and give you guys like a better perspective. Like this camera is new. So this is another thing. I, I got a new camera again and I may even get another one and put it like on this monitor right here. But, um, I'm trying to get the quality better each time we, we go through. I cleaned up the room. I don't know if some of you have noticed that. I think my dog messed up the bed a little bit. She likes to sleep on, on, on that bed. That's her, that's her bed now at this point. It's not even the guest bed, but you know, um, I think they need to focus on quality more than quantity. They've, they've been doing quantity since Modern Warfare, the first one. I Hell, they've been doing quantity since I think even Call of Duty 3. So they've been doing this for over 10 years. I've been doing this for only like two, like three or four, right? So they need to focus more on qu- on quality and getting out the best that, that they can. Merging the two companies, making making it so 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 that it is easy as hell to just make the flow so much better in Call of Duty. That that's what they need to focus on. That's what Activision needs 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 to focus on. There's no need to focus on making a Call of Duty every single year because eventually people are just gonna get fucking tired of it. Okay, I'm tired of it already. I'm tired of buying the next Call of Duty thinking that it's gonna be better and then it just comes. It's just it's just a, it's just a shit show. First day. First day to, to like first year, it's just a shit show. Glitches everywhere, met, meta guns, maybe on purpose. Maybe, maybe that's their way of making money. I, I I don't know, but 
I'm seeing a lot of content creators turn away from it. They're turning away from a lot of large content creators that, that are supporting, not supporting their game, but getting the eyes on their game. They are leaving. And, and I'm going to tell you something. Some of them are just going to get really fed up with all the BS and they're just, they're, they're just going to say no. All these big content creators are just going to say no to, to the new Call of Duty. They're just going to say, nope, I'm not playing it. I'm good. I You guys can find whoever else you want. These big content creators with these codes and whatever else, support creator codes, they may even start saying no. They may start going to Fortnite again. Or even Apex. Because they are starting... Fortnite is one of the most in, in, innovative games at this current moment. They, they have the UEFN which is pretty much just you being able to make your own game with within their their engine and get paid for it. They have that. What does Call of Duty have? They have a they have a they have a broken bat, battle royale game. They have a DMZ game. They have Rebirth and they have uh Plunder, which is pretty much just the same fucking thing four times. Where it's just it's just vomiting P PvP everywhere, which people need a break from PvP. That's why people go play Tom Clancy's The Division, because it's because it's a PVE experience. You want people to stay on your game no matter what. You you have all these different modes. Take the PvP out. PVE shouldn't just be a campaign game. PVE has to be more than just a P just just a campaign game. You have to have some kind of multiplayer to it too. DMZ after I played it, I, I may actually do a separate e episode on this. D DMZ after I played it feels like a PVE game, but there's just there's just the PVE that is sprinkled in there is just just a tad too much. Because you can't tell who's a who's a bot and who's a fucking person. A lot of those bots move like they're people. They run like they're people, and then all of a sudden you're you're getting one tapped down on the ground by a person. So it's like. Oh, that's a person, I guess. But there's no other POI settings. There's no real actual P POI places to, to visit. So you're not like going to like a place where there's zombies. You're not going to a place where there's like infected people with guns or with just bots that are like military personnel or juggernaut areas or like, you know what I mean? Like there, there are these, there are these areas that they could be doing that could really make a huge difference in the game, but they're not doing it. I don't know why, but they're not doing it. So that's a lot of the, the, the issues here with Call of Duty. Is there, there's a lot of issues. I've been, I've been bitching about this for a while now. We, we, we know that. The people that have watched this show, we know exactly what I'm bitching about, right? We need, we need to make the change, and we need to make it now. And let's, let's go back, let's go back to, um, to, to map packs and, and season passes, right? Let's talk about the season passes now, and then I'll show you the T Dog Smitty video, uh, which 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 I found. So the down the downside to, to to the season pass, or sorry, the upside to to the season pass, is that you get you get you get a lot of stuff. Like you get a lot of things in the season. You get a lot of skins. You get a lot of COD points. You get a lot of different uh, not not only character skins but also we weapon skins. So there's a lot of positives to having a season pass, and it's actually pretty cheap to like buy through it. You you know, you know what I mean? Um. Well, to buy through each section is a lot of money, but you you you, you can play through and earn it. It gives you something to to achieve at, at the end too, it gives you a feeling of accomplishment versus just like a map pack where you just buy it and that's it, right? There's a, there's a sense of, of achievement of getting like that gold skin at the end or some kind of like crazy like uh, Damascus skin or something. You know what I mean? The the Season passes, I definitely see the the appeal to it. I definitely understand it. I enjoy the season passes too, but the downside is, is it just like okay after the season pass is done, which a lot of people finish the season pass very quickly. If you, I mean, I played for a week straight, and it wasn't like a full week. It was like obviously on and off, but I played a lot. And this 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 was in Modern Warfare 2019. I got through the season pass in a week. And it was supposed to, it's going to be, it was going to be out for like what, two, two or three months. The season pass is like two or two or three months usually. So I got through it in the first week. So that's the other thing too. Now what? Now I'm bored. You know what I mean? So, I, so, I, so that also causes that mentality of being bored or get, getting through something and being bored. You, you, you essentially get through the thing and you're like, all right, now what? Now I need to do call of duty. 
That's, that's, I think, the cycle that we're in, where it causes too much dopamine hits, and then, like, once you finish it, you're like, I need the next thing now. I need the next thing. I need to get the new camo. I need to get this. I need to get that. I need to buy this. I need to buy that. Like, and I think that's what they're capitalizing on is the dopamine hit. We're like, oh, yeah, a new skin. Oh, something new. Yay. Oh, I'm going to go buy it. Like, that's what's happening, and that they're taking advantage of you do, while doing that. So that's probably where, all, where they're making all their money, which is why they're not going to change. So unless you stop buying shit, not only games, but also skins and variants and stuff like that, that they will stop buying and making that stuff. So they'll stop making that stuff, not, not buying. So something to think about next time you're, you know, you're buying yourself, you know, a whatever, you know, it's just, it's something to really wrap your brain around so that you're not, you're, you're not just like thinking in, in a, in a two dimensional area. I liked, I liked both the concepts of map hacks and season passes. I could see the reasoning behind it, but I also don't, I also think there's a lot more cons to, to the season pass than, than, than the map packs. I think the biggest con of the season passes is you are getting dopamine hits. You're getting hit by dopamine and you need the next thing. You need the next thing every time you need it. So that might be spending money. It might be spending money on a pack or a character or a weapon skin or the newest meta, like that's the problem. That is the real problem here. Map packs, I can see where people might say, well, this is all just getting piecemealed together. Like we're not, we're not getting a full, we're not getting a full product, but the application for map packs is a lot more long winded than it is short winded. Season passes are a lot more short winded in my opinion. So Map packs are a better deal at the end of the day, especially if they merge the two comp comp companies to, to make something better and for longer. So then it turns into a GTA situation versus what Call of Duty has going out now where they just have a new game every single year. You have to spend $60 on, spend $60, spend money, spend money, spend money, spend money. And then it's like, eventually it's like, you've just, you've just literally pillaged your entire community of their money because you just keep sending out new games with new shit. And the whole Warzone 1 thing versus Warzone 2, I don't even know why the fuck they did that. They should have just kept the Warzone 1 engine and improved it so that you guys would be able to keep all your skins, all your weapon skins, all your all your character skins instead of just getting rid of them. Because now that makes us feel cheated. Again, I didn't really buy anything. I, I bought a couple things, I, I believe, but that was, that was with the COD points that I earned. I talked about this in, my, in the last episode. But... You know, that's the one thing that really people have to understand is like, you know, if they're just going for a cash grab, if it's just going to be season passes all, all the time, then it's like, why bother playing the game? If it's just going to be a cash grab every single time, because then you're like, you know, you, 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 you I hope you want to do something more with, with your money than just buy vi vi video games every single year. Like, I, I mean, again, maybe I'm just getting old, but like, I'm doing the same thing. It's like, I have a kid now. I have, I have a wife. It's like, you know, maybe I want to spend money on myself or maybe I want to spend money on vacation or maybe it's like, but like gaming can't be the only thing that you do. Like and gaming has to become a little bit more affordable to be able to, to enjoy it. Gaming is starting to get a little bit crazy now. It's like, again, physical copies are more expensive than digital copies or sorry, phys uh, physical copies are less expensive than, than digital copies now or the same amount. But it's like you're not putting in the same amount of work or the same amount of money to make the physical copy. So why am I getting charged the same amount of money? Like Call of Duty shouldn't be sixty dollars. It should be like fifty or thirty. Starting, unless you get like a prestige edition, or you get a hard edition that's got a physical copy with it. But if you're just doing digital buys, why am I why am I being charged the same price? And it's because of it's because of Microsoft. It's because of PlayStation. It's because of Steam. They need their cut. And the development teams, the, you know, Activision, Treyarch, you know, whoever, they need to make money too. So the games are the same price because instead of, char in in instead of let's say, uh, spending 20% of that $60 on making a physical copy, they're now getting robbed by Microsoft or by PlayStation or whoever that is taking a 30% cut or 20% cut of the, of the sale on, on their, on their store. So that's, that's the real issue here, right? That's the, that's the issue with this is where we need to, you know, really talk about this kind of stuff and we need to make a change. I'm going to, I'm going to keep advocating for change. So if you, if you like change, 
that for the for the better, like the video, because again, more the more people that we hit with this, the more the more audience that we hit, the more likes we get, the more comments, the more Call of Duty messed up bad. Remember buying your first Call of Duty and thinking it can't get better than this. Then a month later, Call of Duty drops this for you. Map packs. Classic map packs made the game 10 times better. You actually got brand new and unique maps. We got a skate park, a golf course, a paintball arena, and a drive-in theater. And don't even get me started on the zombies. Every map pack gave zombies an entirely new experience. Oh my god, it's Albert Einstein. They sent us to the moon, a jungle, and Rebirth Island. And how can we forget about being able to play as Yondu in Call of the Dead? I've been praying for this sh Today, yeah, we get free maps and content, but when was the last time you were actually excited to play on a new map from recent titles? Sure, the map packs cost 15 bucks, but they actually made the game even more fun to play. Remember when Black Ops 2 dropped the first ever DLC weapon, the Peacekeeper? On top of that, they brought universal camos, like Bacon, Party Rock, and Weaponized 115. Seeing that camo just makes me feel some type of way. Listen, I would gladly pay the extra money if it meant we get maps like the good old days. If you ever played OG COD, Hit that follow.